Hey church, uh, first of all, love you and I think you're amazing. I want to connect with you a little bit more about uh, the next couple of weeks and what is God saying right now. Obviously, these times are pretty crazy for all of us, for our country and for the world. And I think that this is just an incredible opportunity to seek God and say, God, what are you doing and what are you saying in the midst of all of this? And what does it mean for us and how do we respond? This morning, we were gathering as a leadership team with our elders and asking God that one question. Lord, there's so much going on. There's so much for us to think about, but what are you saying? And we were reminded of uh, Hebrews chapter 6. It's talking about Jesus and how he makes a way for us to God. And in Hebrews chapter 6, it says, We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtains. As the people of God, we have an opportunity to have our hearts and our souls anchored in who Jesus is. In the midst of a world that's changing and some chaos and uncertainty and fear, we have the opportunity to be anchored in who God is. And so I want to help us with that. Uh, help us hear God together. Lord, what can we be anchored in as we look forward into the coming weeks and months? As we prayed this morning, we felt very clearly that the Lord was leading us to Psalm 34 as a church and encouraging us that as we make adjustments even to our church rhythms, but as we make adjustments to our life rhythms to make sure that we are anchoring ourselves in Psalm 34, specifically verse eight. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. We believe that in the midst of all of this, we don't know everything that's going on, but here's what we do know by faith, that God is alive, God is present, God sees you, He knows you, and He is moving in these times. And we wanna participate with Him in what, is he, in what He is doing. So what is He doing? One of the things that God is doing is He is inviting you and He's inviting me, He's inviting us over these coming weeks and months to taste and see that He is good. We are believing by faith that as we look forward to the coming months and, and weeks, that as all of these things come and go, we will taste and see that God is good. He's also inviting us into a blessing to take refuge in Him. How appropriate is that? We need something to take refuge in. God is not only available to be our refuge, but He makes us this promise as we choose to focus our hearts, our minds, our lives on Him, as who He is becomes our refuge, we will walk in the blessing of God. So in the coming weeks and months, I want to encourage you to, in the midst of all of this, look forward full of faith that no matter what comes, no matter what happens, we are stepping into a deeper tasting, a deeper seeing of the goodness of God. And we are going to walk in the blessing of God as, as, his, as his people as we make the decision to take refuge in Him and who He is. So practically, what does that look like? What are some rhythms we're going to be doing as a church to anchor our souls in the Word of God? The first thing is uh, that we are going to be consistently in Psalm 34. This, I've, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. The second thing is, you know, as a church, we frequently talk about our five circles of church and how corporate gatherings is only one of those things. With the way everything's going right now, certain rhythms of church are kind of off the table as far as Sundays or getting together in large groups. So we've been asking God, Lord, what's the one thing we can focus on in the coming weeks and months so that we can go deeper in you? And we really believe God's highlighting the, the circle, the area of our life of personal devotion. So I want to encourage you, in these coming weeks and months, you are going to go deeper in your own personal devotion to Jesus. And we're going to do that together. We may not be able to do it all in the same setting, but as we go after the same thing, the same God together, even in different places, we're going to grow together as the community of God. So on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., we are going to be premiering a sermon every Sunday on our YouTube channel. And I want to encourage you to tune into that. You may even want to get together with your life group for that at, at your own discretion, but every Sunday at 10 a.m., we're going to have the, the sermon that we had already been planning on doing over the next handful of weeks. We have a series coming about the Bible. What is it? How do we read it? Why is it so confusing? And How do we really hear God? It's going to be great as we spend time together, and I want to encourage you, don't miss it. Keep that rhythm in your life, that Sunday morning rhythm of hearing from God. So that's going to happen Sunday morning, 10 a.m. on our YouTube channel. Uh, in the coming week, we're going to be working on making sure we have something a part of that for kids uh, this week we're not going to be able to but we will be working on that the second thing is that we have our daily spending time with Jesus podcast we're going to continue that as we normally do to help us connect with Jesus every morning uh, in the Bible as we continue talking about that you can find that on Spotify and iTunes it's a great resource to help you connect with God in the morning 
Something that we're going to be adding to our rhythm is not only the morning podcast of Spending Time with Jesus, but we're going to be doing uh, videos, conversations about Psalm 34 every weeknight, and we're going to launch those at 5 p.m. every night. We want to meet with God in the morning, and we need to meet with Him in the end, uh, in the evening as well. Our goal of these conversations is that uh, me and other people in our church will simply just be taking 10 or 15 minutes to talk through a couple of verses at a time of Psalm 34 and say, what is God saying? How, how does this apply to our life and how do we respond in the midst of the craziness that we're living in right now? Things are uh, tossing and turning. Things are going up and down. That is what it is. But in the midst of it, we have the opportunity to be anchored. So let's make a rhythm of being anchored in Psalm 34 together every night. We believe God's speaking it and therefore we believe it's an invitation. I wanna encourage you uh, personally or, or with your spouse or friends or with your family to make a point to watch those on, the, on weeknights and talk about them and worship together. Our hope is that these conversations will help facilitate not only your own thought process, but conversations with those in your household about how we can be personally devoted to Jesus as we navigate the different things that are happening. I hope that this gets you excited about what God is going to do in the coming weeks. I know there's so many questions, there's so many opportunities to be confused or fearful or, or be lost in the uncertainty. Those things are real and we need to handle those, but the best way to handle it is by making sure we are connecting with God, we are walking with Him and responding to His Word. So please jump in and join us all in as we do this over the next couple of weeks. Things will be developing as situations continue to change in the coming days. But this is something that we know that we can do together to hear God, connect with Him, and respond. We believe as the people of God, as we connect with Him and root our souls in who He is, it's going to set us up the best possible way so that we can step into the practical needs of the world around us as those needs arise. We love you so much. Jesus is alive. He's with us. He is speaking. And I'm excited to walk this journey with you.